Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to uh, take on some problems that involve recursive rules and iterative functions. All right, so the first problem we have is we're going to write the first five terms of the sequence using a recursive rule. So I can see that my value, a sub n, is going to be equal to the prior value, minus 3. So I want to find out, in this case, I'm going to find out what a sub 1 is, what a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, and a sub 5. So I'm looking for the first five values. So a sub 1 is equal to a sub n minus 1, or a sub 0, which is 7, minus 3, which is equal to 4. So a sub 1 is equal to 4. a sub 2 is equal to a sub 1, which is 4, minus 3, which is equal to 1. a sub 3 is equal to a sub n minus 1, which is a sub 2, or 1 minus 3, which is equal to negative 2. a sub 4 is equal to a sub 3, minus 3, which is negative 2, minus 3, which is equal to negative 5. And finally, a sub 5 is equal to a sub n minus 1, or a sub 5 minus 1, or a sub 4, which is minus 5, minus 3, and that is equal to negative 8. So you can see that we have a, an arithmetic sequence because I am decreasing each value by negative 3. My constant difference is going to be negative 3. The next question we're asked to write a recursive rule for this sequence. Well, I can see that a sub 1 is going to be 2, and my common difference is going to be 3. It looks like I have a, an arithmetic sequence. So my rule is going to be a sub n is equal to the prior value plus 3. So let's check this out. a sub 1 is going to be, uh, we've already defined as 2. a sub 2 is going to be a sub 1, which is 2, plus 3. So a sub 2 is equal to 5. a sub 3 is equal to 5 plus 3, or 8. And you can see that we have our rule. In the final question, we're asked to find the first three iterates of the function for the given value. So remember, x sub 0 is not one of our first iterates. It's just an initial value. So I have an initial value of x sub 0 is equal to 8. Um, so I want to find out my first iterate. So x sub 1 is equal to f of x sub 0, which is equal to 2 times x sub 0, or 8, minus 7. 2 times 8 is 16. Minus 7 is going to be 9. And I find out x sub 2. That's going to be equal to the function of x sub 1, which is equal to 2 times 9 minus 7, which is e going to be equal to 18 minus 7, or 11. In my final function, I want to find out what x sub 3 is. So I take x function of x sub 2. You know that x sub 2 is 11. So I have 2 times 11 minus 7, or 22 minus 7, and that is equal to 15. 